Hello everyone, Lloyd from Bisfo. What I want to show you in this tutorial is how to set your GL accounts uh, for a corresponding category. There's two reasons why you want to do that, is to better understand your business and also especially if you're exporting to external accounting packages. Let's have a look what this looks like. This is my normal screen where I import or create my stock item and my supply invoice if you're not doing it via purchase order. Opening my category screen, these are my categories and uh, these are the groups as explained before and what we want to look at is your um, stock GL account. Now if you see blank, by default your GL stock account it would be less um, set to stock unless you set it otherwise during the process which I will show you and then you have the ability to say uh, what is the GL account to be set to. Now a good example would be that your beer might be listed as a cost of sale and you want to set your cleaning material um, as cleaning. Having a look at how to set it, it's quite simple. You would right click and you would say edit GL stock account and then you would simply select your stock account. Now uh, your GL account is split into the left hand side would be all your expenses uh, or type it rather and then at the bottom you would see your stock which you can define and your cost of sale. As again mentioned, uh, blank is just defaulting to stock so we leave that as um, a stock for now. Okay, let's see how we set up a GL account. On the edit screen, we were going to go to GL account. And over here, we've got all our expenses. And if you want to add something, you could just simply go to ledger accounts, add, and you would add something uh, on expenses. This you typically do um, once during your setup phase. And then thereafter, you link it and that should be fine. Okay, let's do an example. So I've just got my shop in the sky system, uh, supplier, the date and the arbitrary supply invoice number. Let's go. Let's do beer. I'm just going to enter uh, single quantities. I'm not too concerned about that for now. Let's go to cream soda. Edit that one and let's go. We've got some sunlight listed as well. Now, normally with Sunlight, we would have to say change GL account and then list it as, as an expense, but we don't have to do that uh, if we've set up the categories correct. And as a tip as well, is if you've got a delivery fee, you'll notice it's gone red. We've picked it up. It's not in our inventory system. And then what we want to do is we want to set a uh, delivery fee uh, GL. So let's set this one. So guys, that's quite simple um, as the categories are now automatically linked except for this specific one, which is a manual entry. And let's see what this looks like on the export. I'm going to go to my suppliers. I'm going to go to reports and export purchasing report. Again, this is just a CSV export, especially if you're exporting to external accounting packages. So I'm going to have a look at what today looks like. I'm going to save this file. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open it up. Okay, so let's have a look at the file. This is just a um, just the name of the file. This would be the header of the file, and typically this is the information that uh, external accounting packages would want to to use. There's an account number which you can fill up um, or set up, and then you've got your invoice number. And here you can see the specific invoice is now split into cleaning, cost of sale, delivery, and a default stock item. So guys, that's quite simple. Um, I would recommend you do the setup beforehand um, as it just makes your implementation of the, the teams that you train or the people that work on a system uh, simpler and there's less mistakes that they can make. Cool guys, any questions, uh, please feel free to pop us a mail at info.bizfo.co.za.